What's up guys, it's Thursday. Hope you're doing good. Enjoyed hanging out with some of y'all last night on Zoom, had a good time. If you're missing our Zoom meetings, I wanna encourage you to jump in and, and hang out with us on Wednesday nights. Um, also, use Marco Polo. Most of us have it, let's get on there. Let's share some funny stories. Let's talk about our, how our day went, different things like that. I miss hanging out with you guys. Can't wait to see you again soon, hopefully. We'll be able to see each other very soon. So I'll talk to you today about, as I was kind of planning this week out, different things. One thing that like the Holy Spirit just kind of touched on my heart to share one day this week was be ready for your turn. And if this was a typical Wednesday night sermon, I would tell you to look at your neighbor and say, I'm ready for my turn. And y'all would all say, I'm ready for my turn. But I, want, I think that's important right now because we're in a time now of being getting prepared. God, right now we need to be letting God prepare our hearts. It's a time we're at home, we're alone, and we're only seeing our families for the most part. And it's time for God to prepare our hearts. And so I was thinking about Peter and how he was ready for his turn. Because when we look at, we, were just, we just celebrated Easter a couple weeks ago. And one thing that has happened as Jesus was getting tried and getting crucified, what happened with Peter was he denied Jesus three times. Peter wasn't ready for his turn yet, and he was heartbroken at what he did. And I think a lot of us can relate, like we can relate to like, God, I'm never going to turn my back on you ever again. And then when, it, and when the tough gets going to say, we're like, oh, uh, he's like, no, 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 I'm not really who I say I am. And that's who Peter was. But Peter had this awesome life-changing moment. Well, first he, he realizes, you know, he gets visited by Jesus after he died on the cross and rose again. And then Jesus uh, has already told him, like, hey, you're, you're going to be solid, man. You're going to, like, help build the church. You, you are it. Peter had to be ready, though, for his turn. So what did they do? Peter and the other disciples, they go and they pray, they pray and pray. And then we, a lot of us know the story on the day of Pentecost, what happened. So on the day of Pentecost, they're in the upper room and they're praying and they're seeking God. See, Peter was getting ready for his turn. Peter waited a time before he preached this awesome message that I'm about to tell you about. Peter was waiting and he was seeking God, getting ready for his turn. A lot of crazy things happened the last 40 days. A lot of uncertainties and different things happened. His whole world was turned upside down. A lot of our worlds have been turned upside down in the last 40 days. And with all that happening, Peter's like, I've got to get ready for my, time, my turn. And so him and the other believers, they were praying in the upper room. And the day of Pentecost happened. And the Holy Spirit come on them, right? The Pentecostal fire. It came on them. And they spoke in other tongues. And... They even said that it looked like fire was sitting on top of their head. Um, what an amazing sight. It's amazing what God can do. It's amazing how powerful God is. So Peter baptizing the Holy Spirit, he was then able to stand up. And he was able to look across the crowd. And he's like, hey, these people aren't drunk. They're speaking their language because God empowered them to speak your language. Let's let the sound of freedom go by real quick. power and people around them heard all these different tongues being, uh, their language is being taught by people that were not supposed to know their language. And Peter was able to stand up because he was ready. He received the Holy Spirit. He was ready for his turn and he preached. And thousands that day got saved after he preached. Revival happened that day because Peter was ready for his turn. So are you going to be ready when this quarantine is over? Are you going to be ready when you get out in the public to share Jesus with others? I mean, you can do it right now. Don't put any limitations on yourself. But use this time to get your heart ready. To be ready for when it's your turn. I think we can learn a lot from that. So I hope you're in the Word. I hope you're praying. And I hope you're just talking to the Holy Spirit. And just saying, Holy Spirit, guide me, lead me, direct me. 
Because I want to be ready when all this is over to be able to go out and do your will. I want to be able to go out and lead others to you. I want to be ready for my turn. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I hope to see you soon. And I know God is going to do great things in your life. And I know that you're going to be ready when it's your turn. God bless.